This past month has gone by faster than the time it takes me to get out of bed, then look in the mirror and tell myself that being bald is okay. That can only mean one thing, top 5 Android games worth a play. For September 2019, a list of games that may not be the best of the best, yet definitely worthy of a tap or two. So let's dive right into the nitty gritty. Number 5. Fist of the North Star Legends Revive Animatastic Battles Developed by Sega, this turn-based fist attacker is full of your favorite North Star characters. Take on the classic storyline, unlock gotcha fighters, level them up, and fight Mad Max enemies, complete with beefy buff bosses. Sure, it boils down to the typical gotcha RPG fighter, complete with tap and auto mechanics, yet the fabulous anime graphics make it a playable experience, including the over-the-top dramatic yelling, and classic character models. I enjoyed the gameplay offering, as well as the cool anime-tastic special attacks. If you're a fan of the anime it's based on, or just a fan of tapping to attack, then go ahead and give Fist of the North Star a play. Number 5. Part 2. Harbingers. Even more anime-tastic battles. Developed by Wanda Cinemas, this yet another turn-based RPG is full of zombie killing and eyeball pleasing. Summon your heroes and fight. Forgive me for having another gotcha-style RPG on the list. I just couldn't let this one go, hence why it's part 2. It's not the mechanics that appease me, it's the in-your-face fantastic graphics. The cel-shaded models are very well done, even the persona-like techs are worth a look. Of course it has leveling up of heroes and gotcha again scenarios, yet the battles are challenging, especially the oversized bosses. So if you have room for just one more of this genre, then give Harbinger a play. Number 4. Ooh la la, Caveman Quest. Developed by XD Global, this idle tapper is full of prehistoric dino hunting. Take a ragtag group of Neanderthals through the lands, killing and equipping gear, and from the amount of unlocks, so much more. Things like cooking, pet capturing, and arena battles. It even has the ability to team up with real life players. As far as idle tappers go, it's on the side of engaging. I constantly checked my gear, I paid close attention to big dino bosses, and I relished in the awesome toony graphics. The ability to rotate the camera is a plus, and deciding when to battle a tenacious T-Rex is oh so pleasing. I will say I did not like the chat log that stayed on screen. It can be distracting. The game looks to be endless thanks to the very large continental map. As a non-fan of idle tappers, I found myself enjoying this one far too much. Maybe it's the dino theme. Maybe it's the carnivorous cavemen. If you are a fan of idle games and a believer in the awesomeness of Encino Man, then give Ooh La La a play. Number 3. Merge Magic The Power of Magic Developed by Graham Games Limited, this magical puzzler is both unique and fun. The idea is to merge three of a kind, then blossom your garden into a wonderful plague-free site. Plants turn into magic producers, and fairy goats help collect the orbs that in turn unlock more of your garden. The game has stages that increase in difficulty, and a leveling system to unlock various plants and creatures. Then take on a huge garden. This is like your main hub. This is the ever-growing puzzle to come back to as you complete the stages. The game consists of cute whimsical graphics, complete with fluid grid-like maneuvering. Soon I was hooked on the pixie dust of fun that this game manages to be. It's an adventurous experimental puzzler, a breath of flowery fresh air. So if you want to try something different while maintaining a green thumb, then give Merge Magic a play. Number 2. Demon Blade Die you demon scum! Developed by Garage51, this slashing swiper is challenging with the stab of fun. Basically swipe to attack, tap to block, and skillfully block to perform cool counter attacks. Go from area to area vanquishing pushing demons, and collecting gear. The game is ripe with difficult bosses, and learning attack patterns is a must. The simple swipes become thought-provoking attacks. This isn't your typical Fruit Ninja scenario. It's Ninja Gaiden finger flicking, or is it Ninja Gaiden? The graphics maintain a stylized watercolor theme, complete with unique character models. These distinct graphics give it the upper hand. I really enjoyed my time with it. I can see myself slashing demonic forces just for the hell of it. If you ever wanted to protect a haunted forest as a ninja of good, then why not give Demon Blade a play? Number 1. Void Tyrant Knights of Blackjack Developed by Armor Games, this roguelike card battling RPG, if that's what you want to call it, is fantastic fun. Thanks to Nimblethor for this righteous recommendation. This game has been in early access and has officially released in September. How can I explain the mechanics? Okay, you throw out numbered cards. Choose whether to throw more or to stay. Whoever ends with the highest number gets attack points. That's only the beginning. If you get too risky and bust, 
chest, you could end up with a sword in your gut. You can also throw out special cards using magic points. These have all sorts of bonuses and buffs. I know I only scratched the surface of this strategic casino RPG, but believe me when I say it's the most difficult fun I've had during toilet time. Bosses are no walk in the park, and deciding what cards to keep is a test of brain power. Throw in glorious toony graphics, and we have a mobile offering I'm destined to keep on my device. So if you like killing baddies with a lucky card of one, or just using your wits to outsmart a gooey eyeball, then definitely give Void Tyrant a play. So what games have you folks been playing this past month? Did your favorite make the list, or are you still happily enjoying older games? Leave a comment below, and let's discuss all the gaming goodness that keep our tapping fingers happy. As always, thanks for watching Tiny Little Games. Please subscribe to support my channel, like for more top fives, and ring that notification bell for video updates. Fun fact, I make videos for YouTube.